Joining us this morning is Candace Lonis to tell us about a Sunday Funday reunion to help raise money to build a new memorial wall. Good morning, Candace. Good morning. So, Candace, could you just tell us exactly about this memorial wall that you guys are raising funds for? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, I'm going to try to give you a little history first. Okay. Um, back in 2012, mm -hmm. there used to be a little place up north that was called Stewie's. Okay. And we used to gather, all the bikers did, and one of the bikers, Biker Bob, that puts on the Sunday Fun Day, and Stewie, the owner, got together, mm -hmm. and they decided that to create a glass wall that was on their beer garden and went across. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, Stewie was able to get some glass panels from um, Bradley University, and then they built steel frames, and they put this wall. And a guy named Hound Dog, or um, he, um, Henry, um, he, he etched in the names of the, all the bikers in this area that we had lost that had gotten killed on their motorcycles mm. and the date. And people traveled all over to the events just to come and see the wall. Nice. Since then, what has happened is a bar had gotten sold, okay. and we were not able to get the wall, obtain mm -hmm. it. So we have decided to come together and get the wall, uh, rebuild nice. this wall. Nice. So we're having a Sunday fun day this Sunday. Everything has been donated from the glass to the steel frame, the easels to hold the glass while they etch on it. Mm -hmm. And we're having uh, a band called Comatose Catfish. Okay, nice. And they are, they're <laughs> hilarious. Well, they have their, well, as the old man says, we're going to regroup for the first time, and they're going to play. Nice. And um, so they'll be playing. We have free food. There'll be drinks available. Okay. We're doing raffles. Um, we also are doing a quilt, and this quilt consists of squares that have the names that are on that wall printed on it. Nice. And people have a chance to buy it to possibly win it. Nice. And it's just a fun day. We want everybody to come out. Personally, I have been in Abate for over almost 30 years. I have a little shop and the bikers come mm -hmm. and I hear the stories when they've lost somebody and they like a reason to get together right. and reminisce. And this has given everybody a place that they can go see their loved one's name up on the wall. Right. And um, just be part of it, even though maybe they don't ride anymore. Yeah. And um, so we're pretty excited. We want as many. We hope to do a reopening when the wall is completed then in the spring because we're using the monies that come in as donations to do this. And uh, so then we will do that. Unfortunately, we have enough names that we'll have to recreate a couple more walls after that. Okay. But this should be ongoing. Right. So that was my next question. So you guys plan on doing this in the future? Yes. Okay, nice. And uh, in fact, the gentleman that um, does the etching on the glass, his son is our, also artistic and he will take over from there because we're all getting a little old school and <laughs> old. And uh, so we want the younger generation Absolutely. to pick up or we leave off. Absolutely. So. When and where can people find this memorial wall and event, the Sunday okay. Fun Day? It's up at the BVI Bunker in okay. Sunnyland. Mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, that's the, um, uh, um, how do I say it? I'm sorry. I kind of lost on words here. It's the Veterans Bunker. Gotcha. And um, we have the address there on the screen, mm -hmm. right? Yes, ma'am. 100 Bittersweet. But if you get in town, just ask anybody where the bunker <laughs> is, they'll direct you there. Yes, Candace, thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you or someone you know would like to join us on In the Know, go to 25newsnow.com slash community, go to the In the Know tab and submit the form.